Welcome back to the guys. It's time for another anime first impression video. <laughs> Welcome once again, guys. It's going to be on Shangri La Frontier. Um, it is a series that aired back in the weekend. Um, so I'm a little late to it, but. I still watched it. <laughs> um, there's only one episode out, time of recording. I think by the time this video releases, there'll still be one episode out, but just depends when you watch the video. Uh, there might be more episodes. Um, this is actually one that's better than I thought. It's actually really, really good. Um, I don't want to say top tier yet, but it, it, it's it's top tier for a new series in, in a season. I, I, I will say like that, at least. Um, we follow Rakuro, which is uh, the main character in the story, and he is a fanatic in beating crappy games like he calls them trash games and that's that's his goal in life is to find the trashiest game and pass it right um in the beginning we get this a random scene of his character in uh, almost almost completely naked with a luchador mas mask on and um <laughs> he drop kicks one of the the other characters that's part of the game it was very random um but funny uh, on its own now before anything else if you have not done so by now subscribe to my channel give some love by coming to liking and sharing like i said i have quite a bit of first impressions uh releasing this week actually a lot of them are released this week uh there's more to come next week um and yeah hopefully i'm doing a good job i think i am uh in releasing releasing videos and uh, by next week we'll get the most majority of the series releasing this season um okay uh also check out the description below for more information let's go back to the anime i, I had already started with the explanation of the first episode but i completely forgot <laughs> about my little spew that i always do um uh, okay so yeah it, it's very random um we don't even know like what's going on um until he takes out the headset and we realize oh it's a game and then we we kind of wonder like why did he beat up the girl now it, it all is explained eventually but it's essentially is this girl that he drop kicked was a annoying character in the game that if it wasn't just for her being stupid um a lot of the things and a lot of the bad things that were placed on the Dark Lord wouldn't have happened. Um, so really it was her mistakes that made the game uh, trash. So um, there is a girl character who seems to be infatuated with Rakuro and she follows him. She even goes to the same game store that he goes to uh, to try to figure out what games he's playing. She, she really wants to interact with him. Um, we don't really see much of her past the game store. Um, we see that she overheard him get the new game, so we can just assume that she's doing the same thing just to kind of, I guess, stalk him or look over his shoulder so she can get the right opportunity to, to hang out with him, right? So um, he is convinced by the game store uh, owner that he must get now a god tier game uh, because there's not enough trash games anymore so uh, he decides to go with a new game and I believe it's the name of the, of the anime Shangri La Frontier um, and it's kind of a um, open world uh, game he does skip the intro which Surprisingly, they give us the intro at the end of the episode. They're like, oh, yeah, by the way, if you want to read the actual intro, um, and it talks about how you can be whatever you want. And I think he assumes, because he's played so many trash games, he assumes that there's only one storyline. But in reality, there's a lot of other directions that you can take the game. Um, and he's just decided to go, you know, the straight line of I'm going to kill, get strong, and finish all the missions, right? Uh, which is pretty much what a lot of us do with these some of these games but um if he would have read all the intro he would have learned that there's more to it so um he does join the game he has this ridiculous avatar and he has reasoning to it but again he's almost completely naked and has a uh, bird mask on his face people can't recognize who he is um 
he's not a dumb dumb kid he, he knows what he's doing he's improving the stats that he knows are worthy to improve um and he sells some of his extra points in the beginning to get more money like he he knows what he's doing he's not he's he's not stupid but um he does look ridiculous <laughs> so the rest of the episode is him um comparing the god tier to the trash games how you know some of the um schemes and all that is a lot better how the mo mobility is better how how you gain skills and all the details are better he fights a lot of these characters to level up i believe he's like in level 16 now um and at the end of the episode he encounters a uh a snake boss that should be fought in a party but it's just him so um again he is he's a game expert i will say he does mention at one point like oh it's so weird not to play with bucks and that's that's that is one thing that he's probably going to encounter is that usually with trash games there's ways around certain things and some of this stuff you might not find a way around so um i kind of feel like he might be able to defeat this boss but i feel like he will encounter a boss where he needs a party which is where the girl is going to come in and maybe other characters that we see in the future um it's a great series to be honest if it wasn't in the weekend i would probably be reacting to this one um it's just shamefully and a lot of the good ones will release in in the weekend just those are like the i guess the the per premiere uh spots that everyone wants and uh yeah this one definitely deserves to be there uh unfortunately it's hard for me to react to on the weekends and if i do choose an anime for the weekend i usually react to it on monday so um series pretty good i i think the over the top artistic side of the actual animation is funny and hilarious um they play with the idea of this is a game and so on and so forth um they do add a lot of details and so that you don't forget that he is playing a game and it's not real life um i don't, i appreciate all those little stuff with animes like this there's another anime that released um that is also game based very similar where someone's playing the game uh this season i and i forgot it's uh, some regular guy passing the vr mail games something like that um but it, it, it very similar to that one they they don't take it to to a point where you don't realize it's not a, a game that they're playing, right? So the game, the name of the anime is a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's it's appreciated that they don't go that direction because they could easily do that, and it kind of ruins the series if they did, um, but they don't. So, um, yeah. In a nutshell, really like it. Um, you guys should check it out. It is on Crunchyroll, one episode out, time of recording, and uh, so hopefully more to release. So, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give some love by comment, liking, and sharing. Uh, you guys can follow me on social media in the description below. There's links there. And uh, thank you for your love and support again. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.